The humble honeybee is a common sight around the UK, and even more fascinating than it appears at first glance. Let's take a closer look at this species' adaptations to understand why it's such an efficient and important pollinator. The antennae are an important part of any insect, and every insect uses them differently. Honeybees use them for touch, smell, taste, and even a basic form of hearing, which they do by detecting vibrations in the air. They're an essential tool for everything that the bee does. Honeybee eyes are also extraordinary. They're made up of thousands of tiny lenses called omatidia. They see the world very differently from us and can see ultraviolet light, which helps guide them to flowers. The hairs protruding from their eyes are thought to help the bee sense changes in wind direction while flying to make sure they get back to the hive safely. They also have additional primitive eyes on the top of their head called ocelli, which help them to navigate using the sun. The hairs all over the bee's body are branched to maximise how much pollen can be collected from any plant and they can carry up to a third of their body weight in pollen during flight. They then use their front legs to brush the pollen from the hairs back to the pollen baskets on the hind legs. To help them carry the huge weight of pollen back to the hive, honeybees can link their front and back wings together using tiny hooks called hamuli to create a stronger wing structure. Honeybee hind legs are where they carry the pollen in the pollen baskets. These concave areas on the outside of the leg are surrounded by thick hairs that hold the pollen in place. More hairs on the underside of the leg help them roll up and compress the pollen into a hard ball before storing it. Another surprising adaptation is their specially adapted feet. Honeybees have claws for walking on rough surfaces, but they're able to retract these claws and have a special sticky white pad called an aeroleum for walking on smoother surfaces. Honeybees are just one of many bee species found in the UK, but they're perhaps one of the most well-known and one of the most efficient and prevalent pollinators for farmed crops. They really are an incredible species and very common to see in the UK around flowering plants between spring until late autumn. So make sure you keep an eye out for these fascinating little creatures. <laughs>